While Margaret River is best known for its Chardonnay and Cabernet, some funky new wineries are branching out in all sorts of directions. Over the past few years, Margaret River wineries have been showered with awards for their high quality wines. Flying Fish Cove's winemaker, Damon Eastor, has a few to his name. Damon, you've got something that not many other winemakers uh, have in the uh, trophy cabinet, do you? Yeah, well, that's true. I've got an uh, award for uh, big wave surfing. Massive. Massive big wave surfing, which uh, I guess is a little bit out of the box. But then again, Margaret River has a reputation for uh, producing some of Australia's biggest waves and even the world. To catch this 60-foot wave, Damon and his board had to be towed three kilometres out from shore to the break. Tell me about when you're on the crest of the wave, you're not thinking about winning that award, are you? You're thinking about survival, basically. So you've obviously made a decision that surfing works OK with winemaking. I think they dovetail quite neatly. Winemaking's all about following the seasons, yes. and so is surfing. It just happens that when surfing is at its high point, the winemaking tends to be at its at least frenetic. And then when surfing isn't at its peak, we're mad busy in the winery making So wine. that's your excuse for being able to sort of take off in the daytime and go for a surf? Yeah, I sort of uh, try and put that argument to the boss. Damon and his offsider Liz Reed make a variety of wines, including a Shiraz. It's probably not a variety the region's well known for, but it certainly um, it does really well down here for us. We managed to get it really ripe, so we get lots of uh, red berry flavours, lots of raspberries. It's got a beautiful colour. So how would you compare it to some of the Shirazes I can find around the rest of the country? We're probably looking more to promote the upfront fruit. Here we yeah. go. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers.